What's going on, man? Morning. You're late? I know, man. I know. It's just, dude, I was like up really late last night again. And, oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, dude, like I'm just so tired of like the stupid crap that tori has been doing. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That, that sounds horrible. It really does. But you know, we have a lot of work to do today. <sighs> and, dude, like now she wants to have this get-together this weekend. And, like, <sighs> what if I want to get together with the guys, you know? <sighs> this is just shaping up to be a horrible weekend. I'm not looking forward to it. I got you, man. Yeah, <sighs> Sounds uh, ho horrible, but you know I don't want to stay late tonight, so let's let's get to work. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Dude, please with the coffee. Just stop. That's really annoying. Dude, did you seriously just rip ass? You are the worst coworker ever. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We have an addition to the shop. If you saw the intro, you already know what it is. And let me just tell you, this is one of the most original pieces of history that I've ever owned. Literally, I don't think I've ever had something that was this untouched. So I'm just gonna jump right into this and show you what I got. Boom. Y'all asked for it and you finally got it. 2002 Honda 400 EX. One of the most iconic sport quads of all time. Super reliable. Man, you just can't go wrong with these things. Wait till you hear what I paid for this thing because these things are going for like super, super inflated prices. If you guys saw my Instagram post, people were already saying, people just pay way too much money for these things. The quad market is out of control to begin with, but I actually got a killer deal on this thing. It actually wasn't even for sale. So there's a pretty cool story behind this thing. But first, let me show you the quad. Okay, so first off, this thing uh, supposedly has low hours. So I was given an estimate of between 20 and 30 hours. Now the tires are a pretty good indicator of that because these are the OEM tires. Now they could have been replaced, but you know, this actually is kind of like an in the family machine. So I kind of believe what they told me. I bought it from the second owner. It hasn't been ridden in years, probably like four or five years. I didn't get like an exact estimate. And I didn't actually meet the previous owner, a subscriber of mine who became a buddy of mine. And I go riding with, his name is Johnny Sprockets. You guys might've seen him in some of my videos. It was one of his neighbor's quads. And when he heard that I was thinking about doing a 400EX, he's like, dude, one of my neighbors has this 400EX that's been, you know, he's, I think the guy has had it for like 10 years or something. And they used to go riding together and everything. Uh, my buddy Johnny had ridden with him when he was on this quad. And he said, it's just been sitting for years. And for the past few years, it's been sitting outside. And the guy just hates seeing it not be used. Anyways, Johnny called him up and he said, yo, bro, you still got that 400EX? The guy said, yeah, I got it. So Johnny said, you want to sell it? And the first thing he said was, bro, give me a thousand bucks and it's yours. So <laughs> like, what are the odds of that? Now, the reason that I say, what are the odds of that is because this is actually going to be most likely used in the next top quad challenge from what we're planning on doing. There's going to be three people. There's a $1,000 budget, $2,000 budget and $3,000 budget. They're all 400 EXs across the board. I got the $1,000 budget. So this is pretty much just really lucky that this fits into the budget. Now I got it for 900 bucks. So we did a little bit of uh, negotiating there because I don't think I could run this thing the way it is. And this time around, I wanna do a true $1,000 budget. Now, what I mean by that is I'm not going to be taking any donations, no company support, no freebies, you know, no discounts, anything like that. It's gonna be a true $100 project. So I literally have 100 bucks to put into this thing. So I think what we should do is take a look at the machine closely and see what it needs critically, you know, so that we can get it rolling and actually make this thing competitive. From what I understand it runs, but it hasn't been started in quite some time, like years, like when it was put away is the last time it was started. So I think it'll be really fun to at least see if it starts, you know, just go over the thing. And uh, one of the funny things about this thing is you really can't push it. So yeah, all the brakes are pretty much seized up on this thing. Luckily, that is a free fix in theory. You know, hopefully they're not like totally shot. I already found brake pads really, really cheap. That's the one really good thing about 400 EXs is the aftermarket is huge for them and they're pretty inexpensive. You can see it's got some signs of sitting outside, got some rust on the pegs. Um, you know, from, from if you step back, it looks pretty decent, man. And it is, I'm not gonna say it isn't decent, but you know, if you go up close, there is quite a bit of rust. I don't know if you guys can see under there. 
but it's definitely got its fair share of rust. The plastics look like they're in pretty good shape. They're slightly faded, but they're faded uniformly. The only reason I know they're faded is because uh, when you lift them up, you can see like under the seat area and stuff, the yellow is a little bit more vibrant, but it really doesn't look bad. As far as modifications go, pretty much none. It's got these DG alloy Nerf bars. Um, you can see it's got the OEM exhaust. I'm probably gonna chop that down. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that. Got this custom modified rear tail light. They actually do that in Europe. Um, it's, a, it's to show you that it's a four wheel off road vehicle. That's like why it hangs like that. And in the back, we've got the Vito's block off and it's even got the uh, cooling fins on it, it looks like. So kind of like a really cheap mod, just getting rid of the parking brake. But dude, it's got the original tool kit. And I think the tools are even in here. Ooh, look at that. It's got some zip ties. I wonder if that came OEM. I actually don't know. You 400EX guys will have to let me know in the comments section below if they came with zip ties. And dude, it even has this like flap thing. This rubber, I think this is some kind of like rubber protective guard for the battery. I've never even seen one of those. This is like, like I said, this is just so untouched. <laughs> just like so much OEM stuff on here that people usually take off or it's lost over the years. You can see we have a, a custom modified Nerf bar on this side. This is bent down pretty bad. I think this was rolled. If you look at the handlebars, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're just slightly tweaked. Uh, this side is down and I believe it is, unfortunately, the stem. So I'll probably bend that straight. Obviously, we're not going to be able to afford a steering stem. I think the bars are actually straight. Um, just the stem is bent. So I'll probably pull that off, heat it up and straighten it. I know that's not you know, <laughs> the strongest and best way to do it, but when money is tight, you gotta make it work. Let's pop the back plastics and seat off. Let's see what we got going on under here. Whew. So again, you can see this thing has been sitting. Look at the dust on it. Oh man, more stuff that a lot of times you don't see. This intake tube right here, it's like a breather tube. A lot of people delete that right away. Oh my God, dude, look at the dust. Wow. And it does have a K&N in here. Let's pop this off. See what we got going on inside here. Oh yeah, it is a K&N for sure. Looks pretty new too. I wouldn't be surprised if that was changed into there when he put it away. At least the rats didn't get to it. Look at the flap, dude. <laughs> I've never seen that. I've literally never seen that. That is crazy. Now, from what I understand, the battery is dead. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the battery is savable either, but from what I understand, the battery is like totally shot. So we can try to charge it, but I think we're gonna have to get a battery for this thing. Chain is totally rusty. So I did check and there is oil in it and everything seems pretty tight on it. It actually seems like it's, you know, kind of ready to go. So I say we throw a jumper box on this thing and see if it starts up. All right. Well, that's a good sign. Put the choke on. <laughs> Actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> smoky. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wow. 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 That is literally unbelievable. A little smoky. It's possible that that will go away because it's been sitting for a long time. It's got a custom mod right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> There's exhaust actually coming out of there. Wow, I am like super impressed. I wouldn't be surprised if the rings are stuck in the piston. I mean, dude, this thing has been sitting for years. I can't believe it's idling. It is literally idling. The choke is off. Wow. 
900 bucks. Damn. I am seriously just in shock right now. Headlights work. I wonder if that tail light works. I don't know. Oh boy, it's idling up. Oh my God. Whew, this thing definitely needs some work. The brake fluid is like, looks like iced tea. Mint, definitely mint. Well, I guess we might as well see if the clutch feels good and if the brakes even work. Kind of seems like they're working all the time, but maybe it'll like loosen up a little bit if I, you know, drive it around a little bit. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put some air in these tires because they're super flat and then shit. <laughs> We'll ride it around the yard and see if it uh see if it pulls all right so this thing has literally been idling for like 20 minutes oh my god this thing does not want to roll Ugh. wow but it stopped smoking for the most part i mean dude it it sounds pretty good it's got the standard 400 ex tick i'm really nervous about this clutch feels okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of sauce because the plates might be stuck. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, it's actually kind of smooth. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny, but I'm just amazed. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> wow, I'm amazed right now. I also thought I'd add that the gas that is in this thing, well, I, I did add a little bit, but the little bit that was in here was the gas that came with the machine. And I think that's the gas that it was put away with years ago. Uh, it's just unbelievable that the carburetor, it doesn't seem to be gummed up or anything. You can feel it pull. Um, those brakes are dragging really bad. But yeah, it was the original gas. The shifting's a little bit notchy. It probably needs a good oil change. But for the most part, this actually, this feels pretty damn good. I'd say that this is a steal for 900 bucks. It's got some power, like it feels, doesn't feel like a tired engine. It feels good. Well, I gotta be careful. I don't know if the back brake works. Yeah, it works, I think. Oh God, that might've been a mistake. Kind of locked up a little bit. These are the easiest quads to wheelie. <laughs> I swear. I hope the, uh, I got the drone up there flying right now. It's just kind of doing its hover thing. I hope it doesn't. Ah, I tried shifting into second, but the brakes are dragging a little bit. So easy to wheelie, it's crazy. You guys know I suck at wheeling. If I can wheelie this quad, anybody can wheelie this quad. You could even do a slow wheelie. Ah. <laughs> this is cool, man. I can't believe this. I did not expect this thing would just start up and run. The grips are tacky. I think they're like degrading. You guys have probably experienced that before. It feels really weird. So we'll definitely put some new grips on it. Crazy, man. I, man, this is awesome. Really awesome. Woo! This is awesome. I can't believe this. This takes me back, man, because I used to ride a 400 EX. Back when I used to really ride a lot, I always had a 400 EX or a Raptor 660. And when I went to the track, I had a 400 EX that I used to ride. 
Oh man, these things, these grips are literally falling apart on me. Oh man. Well, that's cool. Very happy. The clutch even feels good. I mean, this is probably, damn it, this might be the best 900 bucks I've ever spent. I guess I'll put it away. Fun though, man. Anybody who says these things are too slow. I mean, dude, this is a 100% stock quad. I guess I'll kill it. It's a 100% stock quad. The brakes are dragging. The chain is probably dragging. And it's, you can have fun on this thing, man. I'm so happy with this. Dude, so I literally think you could take this thing riding the way that it sits right now. Like I, I don't think it would break. I think it could actually be taken to the trails the way that it sits. And you could have a good, good, good time <laughs> and nothing would break. I just can't believe that. This is like the second time this has ever happened to me. The other time was with the 250R and this would be the second time with this 400EX. Usually when you buy anything from Marketplace or Craigslist or anything you used, especially off-road stuff, it's just not ready to rock and roll. There's always something that needs work. And I'm not saying this thing is perfect, but it feels tight. It has no wiggles. And I don't think it needs like any servicing at all. I, I, or, well, I mean, we should probably change the oil, but I, it's just amazing to me. So, I mean, maybe that's because both it's, both those quads were kind of like word of mouth. The 250R was a subscriber that sold it to me and kind of the same thing with this. It was a subscriber's neighbor, all word of mouth. You know, usually when you buy stuff from Marketplace, it's like people just want to get rid of their stuff and sell their problems with it. Not, every, not everybody, but you guys know what I'm, I mean, if you've bought anything from Craigslist or Marketplace, you know what I'm talking about. So there she is. I'd say this is the best 900 bucks I ever spent my whole entire life. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at this thing and see what it needs, if it needs anything at all. Man, I don't really think this needs much. Uh, maybe we'll service the brakes a little bit. I have a couple free mods to get a little bit more power out of it. So I'm gonna wrap this one up, man. If you have bought a quad for under a thousand bucks or you just got a smoking deal, whatever the price is, let me know in the comment section below. People love hearing about those stories. And let me know if you think that I got a good deal here comment and share on this video that helps me out big time and please give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed the content i'll see you in the next video i love you guys i'm gonna close this one out with a little bit of drone footage because the drone footage did not film for the first reaction man and you just can't refilm a first reaction i love you guys peace out